Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new first impression. Today I have something super exciting for you and it is the new Makeup Revolution liquid highlighters. So first of all let's get right into telling you a little bit about these. As you can see these look very very similar to a certain Cover FX custom enhancing drops but they're of course half the price. So let me tell you what these retail for. So they retail for £6 each for 18ml of product, whereas the custom enhancer drops from CoverFX retail for £34 for 15ml. So these are definitely a lot bigger. Um, so there is seven shades of these that Makeup Revolution have released. Um, I've picked up five for you guys. I kind of wanted to get sort of a nice selection of all the shades. Some of them are a little bit similar, but I thought five was definitely good enough to share with you. But I'll also pop the link to the Makeup Revolution website if you want to go and check out all of them to compare. So let's tell you all the names. So the first one I have is probably the one that I'm most excited for and this is Unicorn Elixir. This is very similar to Halo from Cover FX, Starlight and from what I can see this again looks very similar to Celestial, Champagne, um, that looks like Sunkiss. Then we have Luminous Gold, which I don't have, that to me it looks like Sunlight. I haven't tried the Cover Effect X one, so I can't sort of completely compare, but from what I can see sort of on their website, they do look very similar. Bronze Gold, that looks like Candlelight. Um, and then there's Luster Gold, that I don't have that to me looks like moonlight. There's rose gold that looks like rose gold. So let's get right into trying these. There's so many different ways you can use these. So I'm just gonna use a couple and sort of demo how I would use them and just share with you different ways that you can use them. Okay, so the first way you could use the liquid highlighters would be to mix them in with a face moisturizer. So I would probably go for something like the Unicorn Elixir and sort of mix these together to form sort of a strobing cream or a nice glowy base that you could pop on before your foundation or you could just wear this alone. And then the other way that I'm gonna do is mix one of these highlighters into my foundation. I am gonna go for something quite light. Um, that's similar to my skin tone because I've got quite sort of pale skin. If I was a little bit more tanned, I'd probably use something like the champagne, but I'm gonna test out the Starlight. So I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I am gonna mix, so I don't know if you can see, I've just got some on my hands, and I'm gonna mix some of this in. So these highlighters, when I first got them, I actually thought they were gonna be a really sort of runny liquid, but they're actually sort of more of a thicker cream to them. So I'm probably just gonna do one drop, because I don't wanna look like the Tim Man. Okay, maybe I'll do two. It's better to do less and not put too many and then just add a little bit. Okay, so let's go for one big drop and mix that in. Oh yeah, I can see that better. So I'm just using a beauty blender. I've just covered up my redness as well. Um, before this, I just have quite a bit of redness around my nose and chin. So I just put um, a yellow concealer on that just to cancel out the redness. This is definitely very glowy and actually it looks 
way more glowy on camera, I think because the light's reflecting on my face. So I would say if you have oily skin, then definitely don't do this way, um, sort of mixing it into the foundation. I'd maybe just use these as a highlighter. That is what I'm actually gonna do next. So I'm just gonna finish off my makeup and then go in with another one of these shades as my highlighter. And then finally, I'll show you one more way that you can use this as well. Right, so now I've finished my makeup, let's go in with a bit of the highlighter on my cheeks. So I think I'm going to use the champagne one as I really love the um, Primark champagne highlighter. So I'm hoping this will be similar but in a liquid form. So I'm just going to dab a bit on my hand and then I'm just going to use this small Real Techniques um, sponge just to dab it on the tops of the cheeks. Now Revolution to me always do the best highlighters, they have so many to choose from and they're always really affordable and they really do pack a punch. Um, so I would say they're my most owned highlighter from the drugstore. But this looks really pretty. I actually put a cream blush underneath because like I've mentioned before liquid products tend to go, um, liquid and creams tend to go better together than a powder and then adding a highlight on top. But can you see, that's really pretty. These are also really nice and buildable as well. Um, so if you want a more intense highlight, then you can definitely build this up. Okay, so the last way I am going to show you is by mixing the highlighter in with a body moisturiser. So I've just put some body moisturiser on my hand and I'm going to take this unicorn one and do maybe two drops. And then I think I'm going to mix it in with the bigger end of this beauty blender. Mm, I think I'm gonna add a bit more, I can't kind of see it. I think because it's light, maybe I should have done the golden one. But I'm not that tanned, so I wanted to try this. Oh, okay. So can you see that? That looks so pretty. It's got like a blue, purple undertone. Right, let's see. Oh, I can definitely see that. So three drops is the key. Well, you can see it on the camera. It just sort of gives that subtle glow. But like I said with the um, one that I applied to my face, they're all buildable. So that's the point of them. They're sort of custom drops, so you can add as little or as many drops as you want, depending on how intense you like things. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. And I think with this first impression, I'm actually only gonna do one check-in. Um, just because I've spent so long sort of demoing a few of these. So I will do one final check-in at the end of the day to share with you my final thoughts and also see how long this is all worn. Um, so the time now is 2.19 so I will see you in a bit guys. Bye! Hey guys and welcome back. The time now is one minute past 10. So I'm just gonna share with you my final thoughts on all of these liquid highlighters. And also before I forget, I wanted to share with you the release date. So at the moment, these are available from the Makeup Revolution website, which is called Tam Beauty, that like I said before, I'll link down below. But if you want to wait a little bit longer and get your hands on them in super drug stores, then I think they release on the 20th of September. So with regards to price, I think these are excellent value for money, considering how much you get in here. Um, and comparing them to the Cover FX drops, 
these are super great value for money because you are getting that little bit more. Of course, I can't compare them to the Cover FX ones because I've never tried them. So definitely let me know if you've tried them as well. So going on to packaging, I love the glass bottles. To me, these look really premium looking. I love the packaging, the fact that they're color coordinated so you can see exactly what you're getting in the bottle. The only thing I would say that I don't like, but obviously this is kind of how the applicator is for this kind of product, is the pipette. Because of the consistency, I do find like you kind of find it hard to sort of press down and get some out of here. And I probably would prefer this in, I don't know, a different kind of applicator. Maybe you could just tip a bit onto your hand but I just find this bit here kind of hard to get any out of like a good amount. So, but that is a small thing um, anyway, because overall I really love the packaging of these. So going on to application, like you saw, I showed you three ways to apply this. Um, there's so many different ways you can use these and I am going to play around with these so I'll let you know in my final blog post what I sort of thought of all of them. I'm going to try all of them out so I'll link that down below when it goes live. But these were super easy to apply and obviously they are custom highlighter drops so you can make it as intense or as sort of subtle as you like, which I really like. So going on to longevity, um, I can still see everything. The highlighter is still really nice and apparent. I'd say where I mix this in with my foundation, I did put bronzer on top, so you can't see sort of the glowiness of that as much. So maybe if you were gonna mix it in with a foundation, maybe just leave it nice and dewy. Um, if you providing you haven't got oily skin or you could just mix it in with the moisturiser and maybe have a makeup free day and just have a little bit of highlighter showing through. I can see this unicorn one on my arms so much. It literally, now it's got darker and the lights are brighter. I did do a bit of filming so you could see it but it is really showing up now. Um, so I think I said before it's quite subtle but I can really see it and it's absolutely beautiful, perfect sort of going into the party season and the festive um, season as well. So I'm really loving all of these shades. I think there's a super great selection of shades for everyone and I just love all of them. I think you can tell that by now. Definitely let me know if you've tried any of these um, and what you thought as well, or if you have the um, cover effects ones and if you've compared them. But I definitely think the way to go when applying these is with a sponge because um, they just work that little bit better when blending them out and then when you're doing it on your body you can just rub it into your hands just make sure you wash your hands after. So I think that is it. Um, just seeing what I've wrote down. So I just love the versatility of these and I think that these are such a great product and really Makeup Revolution never cease to amaze me. They just are always on the ball and on top of releasing um, sort of on-trend things and for the price you really can't go wrong. So definitely check these out when they come into super drug stores or go on the website if you really need to buy them now. There is a P&P charge um, and I know Superdrug sometimes do their offers so sort of weigh up how many you want. Maybe you could get them three for two in Superdrug and wait. Um, but I award the Revolution Liquid Highlighters a 4.9 out of 5. So guys, let me know if you have tried this in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and Snapchat for more inspiration and if you missed my last video you can go ahead and click on the picture link in the middle and that will take you to that video. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend guys and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next one. Take care, bye!